Let's, now let's take them one by one. Intermediate re renovation. We're talking about, like I said before, a classroom addition, five to six classroom addition that would be placed here at the intermediate school. Let me, let me spend just a moment and talk a little bit about some of our early plans. We went out to our patrons a year ago and we started asking them about future bond issues. And we started hearing uh, some conversation that coalesced around the possibility of, of building a new 5-6 on the south side of our district. And we highly considered that. The problem was it became too expensive. If we would add a new intermediate school instead of a renovation into this, it's actually costed out at over, well over $21 million. And we, we don't believe that we can fit, it would be fiscally sound at this time to go to that, that high level of an expense. So we went back to the drawing board and said, basically, how can we do this? And we, we had the, the option that we had to go one of two directions. If we would have went ahead and built the standalone intermediate school, we could have done one other project, and that couldn't have been as large as North. It would have had to be one of the smaller projects. So we could have built the standalone intermediate school, but we wouldn't have been, been able to build the other projects, one of the smaller ones possibly. So it was going to be that costly. So what we did is we said, okay, what can we do to our current facility to meet the current needs and the needs for the next five years? And that's where we came up with the possibility of let's, let's we're already remodeling north, Let's go ahead and finish the remodel in the, in the entire complex of north and intermediate, and then five years down the road, something like that, we can bring back into the picture a possibility of, of uh, a second 5-6 in the south part of our district, and then recapture some of the space that is here uh, that can be utilized for many different purposes. It could be utilized Hopefully in the future, preschool could possibly be funded at the state. That's an idea that's been thrown out there for years. If that's the case, then we're going to need facilities for four-year-olds. There's, there's many different possibilities. With our growth, there will be uh, uh, ways to fill these spaces that would be left here at the intermediate school. We want to increase the flow, uh, utilizing our classrooms and our hallways. Uh, the flow uh, in this building is not optimal. It's not terrible, but it's not optimal. And we would like to increase that flow and how kids move from one part of this building to another. We'd like to look at upgrading our office space and how that works. Uh, uh, also, uh, from the front, how, how we look uh, at entering the building, how we can uh, improve not only the look of that, but the safety features that go along with, with our frontage and how people come into our building. So that's important to us also. Oh, the last one was security access. Let's go to our Orchard Hills edition. We're looking at a four classroom edition plus the learning park. Again, that's a learning park is a hallway that's just a little bit wider and allows for collaboration space uh, for multiple classrooms. Population in 0910 was 268 students. The current population is, when I did this, was 369, which it's been, I don't know, but that's not today, that was some weeks ago. Uh, the current population is 369. So over 100 students since we opened Orchard Hills in 09. And once again, I have one classroom program that could be moved if, uh, if, it, if our growth continues, then uh, we have been adding one classroom a year every year. If that continues, then I'd have to move a program next year. The following year, I'd either have to re overcrowd classrooms or we would have to redistrict the elementary boundary line. We believe that this addition would last somewhere into the four to five year range. Like I said, we're adding one classroom a year. Without this addition, as I said, we would have to look at a redistricting. Here's a sample mock-up. Uh, we're, we're actually pretty far into the drawings of Orchard Hills. Uh, uh, Mr. Graves, as well as the architects, have been working with leadership team over at uh, Orchard Hills Elementary 
and have come up with this concept. Actually, the, the uh, addition is on the south end of the building. Basically, when we constructed Orchard Hills, we made it to where we could add an addition on the north end, or we can add an addition on the south end. We've chosen the south end, and I'll, the reason why is because the city limits of Springfield are right here. And if we build, if we encroach the construction in close to the city limits of Springfield, they have already told us that they're going to force us to build a road up here uh, on the north side of our property to join the community over here to Miller Road. So that would be extremely costly. And when we come back at a future point and have a look at an addition here, we're going to have to be very careful not to encroach on that city limit of Springfield. So we're looking at a classroom addition that will be on the south side of the building. You can see, here's what I'm calling the learning park here. It's a hallway, basically it's an extension of a hallway that's about twice as large. And what it does, it allows multiple classrooms to come out together. And it's a feature that we saw down in Joplin and actually in other buildings uh, in the Kansas City area and the teachers share uh, some really nice uh, 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 opinions and reviews on what this learning park is providing uh, opportunity-wise for uh, the classrooms. Not only that, but they could actually keep their classroom uh, here and we're actually looking at some movement that can come between classrooms. We're starting to look at team teaching uh, in multiple buildings where two teachers are working with the same group of kids. So we're looking at providing some nice flow between classrooms through double doors that would occur between classrooms. So lots of different opportunities for kids and the type of instruction that occurs.